On December 9, 1824, a fateful day unfolded for Antonio José de Sucre, a key figure in South American independence. A tale of triumph at Ayacucho, diplomatic finesse, and a mysterious end awaits as we delve into the enigmatic events of this historical date. Born on February 3, 1795, in Cumaná, Venezuela, Sucre joined Simón Bolívar's revolutionary forces and quickly rose through the ranks due to his military prowess and strategic acumen. At the Battle of Ayacucho on December 9, 1824, Sucre commanded the Patriot forces against the Spanish Royal Army led by Viceroy La Serna. This battle, fought in the highlands of Peru, proved decisive in securing South American independence. Sucre's tactical brilliance and coordination with Bolivar's broader strategy led to a resounding victory for the revolutionary forces. The Spanish suffered heavy losses and La Serna was captured, effectively ending Spanish dominion in South America. The Battle of Ayacucho is considered the final major engagement of the Wars of Independence in Latin America. Following this triumph, Sucre played a crucial role in the negotiations that led to the Treaty of Guayaquil in 1822, which secured recognition of South American independence from Spain. Despite his pivotal contributions to the cause, Sucre faced internal political challenges, and in 1828 he resigned as president of Bolivia, a position he had assumed after Bolivar's departure. Tragically, Sucre's life was cut short under mysterious circumstances. On June 4, 1830, while traveling near the Colombian border, he was assassinated. The circumstances surrounding his death remain unclear, with various theories suggesting political intrigue or personal vendettas. Antonio José de Sucre's legacy endures as a hero of South American independence. His military achievements, diplomatic skills, and tragic demise contribute to the complex narrative of the continent's struggle for self-determination in the early 19th century.